Good day. This is Jim. It's all Logs Plastic Hubs. It's my shop name. My channel name is Jim Deadman. Uh, welcome to my machining videos that I'm putting out on YouTube for your pleasure, entertainment, and some education. Uh, today's video will be whatever that the title of the video is that I'm working on. It's just a new kind of introduction that I'm going to put out there. Um, a little bit about myself that maybe hasn't been put out in my other videos, just for general information for you guys. Um, I'm a retired employee who worked in the machining area of Eaton Corporation for 40 years. Uh, so a lot of my time there was spent, about half of it was spent with CNC Lays, which I'm intimately familiar with. Uh, my early career for about three years I apprenticed in a local machine shop and that's where I learned some of the basic skills that I use today. So uh, my shop is something that I just work on projects, things I want to do here at home. So I hope you enjoy these videos. Um, there's a lot of them I already have shot. I'm going to keep shooting more for you. There's things that you can do in your own home shop with minimal expertise I'm going to say sometimes. I do take on some difficult little projects from time to time that's involved. Some of the things I do, I will be honest, it's probably more trouble than worth, but like I'm fond of saying, I'm a retired and got more time than I have money sometimes. And that was part of the goal of setting this shop up is to keep myself busy in my retirement. Because after spending so many years in a heavy overtime environment that I work for Eaton, this is a relaxation. I can come out and work three or four hours and walk away. So I try not to take on very many long, big projects for other people. I will if I'm pinched. If somebody asks me to help them out, I'll be glad to. So uh, on today to today's project, uh, whatever it may be. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video and whatever I'm producing today. And like I say, enjoy. And if you like what you see, Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. And enjoy. I'm working on a project. And uh, what it is, my riding lawnmower, you can't grease it the way I want to. The uh, grease fitting's in such a place, you almost got to take the wheels off to grease it. So what I would like to do is grease them with the wheels on, obviously. So, I've been studying on this project and I have some grease fittings, but the grease fittings and the taper pipe thread that they need, I just don't have. So, what I want to do is to be able to drill the bolt on the lathe, obviously, and thread these in the end of it. Well, excuse me. So I got to looking here just a minute ago, and I discovered, much to my surprise, that, uh, that's not that smart, but that'll work. But the bottom of the bias here in it is uh, that the threads, they must be, see, they're not an eighth inch pipe, so they're smaller than an eighth inch pipe. So, I decided they was really close to quarter twenty. So what I've done here, excuse me from being off the camera, I'm just going to screw these on so I don't lose them. And uh, so I just tucked my die set and I've cut, me, cut these out to be quarter twenties right here in the bench. And I'm going to Loctite this stuff together anyway, so I ain't got to worry about them coming out. So what I'm going to do is get my, get the bolts out and fix the lawnmower this morning. Forgot to turn the camera off. So now I've got this drilled, and I drilled the bushings that way. <coughs> so they line up this way, put grease in that. Let's go I'll put it on. Now this is handheld and outside. This is my mower. And right there is what is the finished product look like where I can get to them. 
I don't know if you could see the original grease fit in here. It's up in here on the wheel. And you can see on both of these wheels that it's damn near impossible to grease this thing unless you take the wheels off. Poor design, if you ask me. You want to grease stuff, you want the grease fittings where you can get to them. So, a little bit of lathe work. I had to do that extra bit of threading because I didn't have to tap, but those are Loctite on the green Loctite. They'll never come off. So, that's a, I feel like that's a successful fix. Um, thank you for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed what we did here in the shop. I'm going to use a disclaimer. This is my method in my shop, what I deem to be the best method. But now, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And the comments who will give me, you know, will be answered and sometimes give me ideas how to be better at what we're doing and making videos. So, Again, I'm going to thank you for subscribing or thank you for viewing. If you're not a subscriber, please do and join the, the people who are giving me some subscriptions to try to get to these magic numbers to grow the channel. I'm going to do videos where I ever get monetized or not because I do the videos because I love them. But I would like to get a little chance of getting a little bit of revenue off the ads that you're forced to watch when you come to these channels on YouTube. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, tell your friends, anybody that's interested, spread the word. And we'll see you in the next video that we're making something to and having fun in the shop. So, enjoy!